Lord, para um, to honor you, Father, to hear from you, Lord God, and to just acknowledge you and your presence in our lives, Lord God. Um, we glorify you, Father, and you, Lord God, that you will use me, Lord God, as I discuss this topic today, and reduce the rest of us, Lord God. And I hope, Lord God, that you would open hearts with open minds so that they would receive your word and they would receive a word from you, O God. And they would not have any doubt in their hearts. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we bless you. Amen. Ayun. So, um, inisip ko ano yung umaga kung ano yung discuss ko today. And then, God reminded me about a story, yung blind man na who asked for Jesus to be healed. So, this is from Mark uh, chapter 10. If you can turn your Bibles. Mark chapter 10, verse 46 to 52. So, this is from the NIV, NIV version. Just to read it for you. Verse 46, Then they came to Jericho. As Jesus and his disciples together with a large crowd were leaving the city, a blind man named Bartimaeus was sitting by the roadside begging. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout. What did he say? He said, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. That's what he said. And for verse 48, it says here, Many rebuked him and told him to be quiet. But he shouted all the more. Diba? Nakakatawa si Bartimaeus. He said, Son of David, have mercy on me. He shouted again. And then the people around him said, Cheer up on your feet. He's calling you. Verse 50, throwing his cloak aside, he jumped to his feet and came to Jesus. Jesus said, What do you want me to do for you? Jesus asked him. The blind man said, Rabbi, I want to see. Go, said Jesus, your faith has healed you. Immediately he received his sight along the road. So, I think we're the really God na God imposed in my heart about this blind man and his strong faith that God would really, that Jesus would really heal him at that moment in time. So, first, nang natangaan ko dito, nalong his voice, yung faith ni Bartimaeus. So, siya nga yung blind man, nandun lang, he's begging. Eh, nung time na yun, sobrang ministry ni Jesus, sobrang as in his famous talaga. And people and crowds were, were following him. Diba? Sa Nazareth. Because alam nila, alam nila, do many miracles, talagang, yung, talagang, they believe that he's the son of God. So, talagang sobrang famous siya. Tapos, itong si Bartimaeus, paano niya ba nakapakita yung faith niya? Sabi nito, Bartimaeus had faith when he believed what he didn't see. Diba ganun naman yung faith? We believe even though we don't see, basically. Kasi tayo, as humans, ang tendency natin is, maniwala lang tayo, maniwala lang tayo pag nakita natin. Tama? Yung parang, magkat hindi na, hindi nakikita ko, pag hindi ito nangyayari, hindi ko gano'n. Alam mo yun, parang, parang tayo dapat may parameter na pag ito yung nakita mo, sige, go. Diba? Parang gano'n tayo parami. Pero ano ba yung sabi about faith in the Bible? Ano na ba yung true and genuine faith na sinasabi nito? Sabi sa Hebrews 11.1, Faith is the confidence that what we hope for will actually happen. Basically, you are really believing in your heart that it will happen. You don't faith now. And it gives us assurance about things we cannot see. It means even though we don't see it, it's ahead of us, it's uncertain, we still have faith in God. You know, you do your genuine faith. And um, Bartimaeus portrayed this in this story. Because he said, out of all, imagine you, not all famous. Kung baga pa, pumunta mo kayo sa Olympic Park. Anyone? Napaka-crowded, sobra. Kasi yung wala ka na makakang click. Alam mo yun? Kahit yung labas pa lang, sobra crowded na. So, ganun, imagine na natin ganun yung setting ng Olympics. Ganun leveling yung ano, yung, yung moment na yun. Pero si Martin Pelos, with all his conviction in his heart, wala siyang doubt eh. Sabi niya, nung nalilig niya, just Jesus, Jesus! Sabi niya, Son of David, have mercy on me. Sa so, tingin mo may doubt yun? Ang daming tao, tapos, Well, shut up, they are. Tapos biglang nag-shout ng gano'n eh. Diba? It displays faith that he's believing talaga in Jesus. That he can do miracles. That he can heal him of his blindness. Are you with me, church? Amen. So yun. There is no doubt in his heart. And how did he show this faith? He projected it when he shouted against the crowd. Di ba, misa parang lukuloko ka. Imagine mo yun, maraming tao. Tapos shout ka lang yun. Di ba, parang nakakahiyang hindi mangyayari. Pero, With no doubt, and with all conviction, in Bartimaeus' heart, he 
shouted, I can call down for Jesus. And ask for his attention. Di ba sabi pa nga, yung mini-search pa siya, ito ganyan tayo minsan. Aminin natin, yung mamisang tayo yung mga tao, tumihigit yung nga dyan. Di ba? Yung ganyan tayo, di ba? Sabi dito sa verse, saan ba yun? 48, many rebuked him and told him to be quiet. So manahili ka, ito in Filipino, Tagalog. But he shouted all the more. So ano yung response ni Bartolais doon? He shouted all the more. Ibig sabihin, hindi, I won't be stopped. He was shouting again, Son of David, have mercy on me. Yan ang sabi niya. And then, ayun. Ano ba yung pinilisplay niya dito? He wasn't afraid to declare his faith. Di ba yung chinong ni Bartolais doon? And yun nga, sometimes we eat out our hearts. Kung baga there's always unbelief in our hearts. Maybe it's siguro a house that you're praying for, a new car, money para sa studies ng anak niyo, a husband, a boy, I don't know, marami na ganito pray, tama? May mga, we have our own desires. Pero sometimes, hindi nga tayo kay God. Hindi nga yung hindi. Ito talagang healing. Mula ba, ka-blind na siya. Imagine mo yung faith ng tao ko. Amidst the crowd, he displayed his faith, he shouted, at kung tinigilan siya, he shouted all the more. So diba, it's an example to us believers that when we believe, all out ka nalaban. When you believe, no doubt in your heart. Because sabi nga sa Bible, faith is knowing that what you are praying for will actually happen even if you don't see it. Also, it is, it, ano, kumbaga, makakaano ito sa relate, uh, relate din ito sa pain na kay God. Kasi ito na siya ang ika, eh, diba? Pero if you feel when we pray, there's something a steering in your heart, diba? There's something in you that changes, that really makes you realize, I need to say it. Diba? We don't see it, but, ano mo yun, in, in our hearts we know. We know that it is true, but when we receive healing, but when we pray, so you, you feel the Spirit in your heart. So it means, it doesn't matter kung hindi mo makita, pero it matters, what matters is your heart. Diba? God is always looking at our hearts. Ayun. Um, in coming to Christ now, I um, just want to share to you that for help and healing, because if you always ask for help, for this, for material things, for finances, there are a lot of things that we are asking God. Pero, we should, ang attitude daw natin doon, we should look to Him as the promised Messiah. Ibig sabihin, we have full trust in Him na He who has promised is faithful. Amen? Kung sino yung creator of your life, creator of you, He is, when He promises, He is faithful to fulfill. So, yun yung dapat attitude natin when we ask. Second, cast away the garment of our own sufficiency. Ano ba yung sabihin doon? Sabi sa verse na to, Verse 50, throwing his cloak aside, he jumped to his feet and came to Jesus. So, nung nalaman niya na, uy, pinagsikata ako, di ba? Ginibyok siya, tumawag siya isang beses na malakas. Sabi siya, nung hindi ka nga, sabi niya, she shouted all the more again, di ba? Tapos sabi niya, oh, pinagsik ka na. Sabi, Jesus stopped and said, call him, sabi ni Jesus. Kasi nalilig niya, dalawang beses eh. Tapos sabi niya, he threw his cloak away, stood up, and ran to Jesus. Diba? Parang, parang batay na, alam mo yun, nakapag-alon, tatapos namin ko. Yun yun. Yun din yung ginawa ni Barney Pace dito. He ran towards Jesus. So tayo ba, in, in our lives, do we run towards God? When we, when we ask for healing, for help, even not in our needs. Alam mo yun, every day in week. But, are we thankful? Do we run to God? Do we choose to talk to Him every day? Alam mo yun, it's a, Kumbaga, at the end of the day, I just want you to parang take home. Ano ba yung attitude ko when it comes to relating with God? Do I have faith? Like party games? Is my faith, alam mo yun, enough? Alam mo yun, parang yun yung gusto kong i-ano sa inyo. O ano yun? Sabi dito, free ourselves from every weight, from every sin that burdens us. So yung clone na yun na tinapon niya, it's like throwing your own life, your past life, your past sins, Ganun daw, when we chase after God, we should throw away anything that hinders. Amen? Anything that stops you from doing the will of God, throw it away. Amen. Diba? If you are tempted to sin, throw it away. If you're in a relationship that doesn't please God, throw it away. Past life, we can, alam mo, by God's grace, we can throw away any sin. We can throw away any past that we have. Kung baga, we no longer live in a sinful life because God 
If I say Jesus Christ died on, on the cross and save us from our sins. So man, we should live victoriously. That we can cast away any garment, any burden, any weight in our shoulders and run for Jesus. And He will always obey His arms. Diba? Sabi dito, call Him, sabi ni Jesus. Gusto niyo yun eh, yung atat sa kanya. Gusto niyo sa inyo yun eh, God draws near to the people who runs after Him. So, sabi dito, third point, Christ wants us to ask. Reason kasi, we are living in a self-inferiority complex na parang, we are not blessed, wala tayong, hindi tayo lang kayong kapatan dito, wala tayo lang dito, wala tayo, alam mo yun, marami kang inferiority thoughts na play in your mind that Satan is feeding and you are allowing it. Diba? Pero Jesus asked, wants us, His will is for us to come to Him and to ask specifically. And according to His will, purpose, and power, He would fulfill it as what He did dito sa tao ko. Kasi He displayed great faith. Diba? It's, it's all about our hearts kasi with Jesus, He always looks at the heart. Kung sa iba, you're pretending to be, alam mo yan, kung you're pretending to be something you're not. Jesus, when you're alone, He knows everything. Diba? Kung baga, walang pretension kay God. And, ano ba? Salvation is not about crying, but all about trusting. Kasi sometimes, you always try. Pag wala ko sa work, pag kailangan ko magpadala, you always try. As in, ha? Pupulitin ko, may mga extra work. Hindi ka muna nagkakasulti. Hindi ka muna nagkakamu God and ask. Alam mo yun? Kasi God is the ultimate source. He's the ultimate provider. He can give everything to you. He gave His Holy Son, remember? Imagine mo magbigay mo yung sarili mong anak. Kung tayo. Ibig ba sa, di ba? Pag ginawa mo, it is with endless love talaga yun. Alam mo yun? He will not withhold anything from you. So, ayun. We have to ask. And we, not, we should not cry. We should trust. Diba? Parang, we, we need to ask ourselves, do I trust God enough? Diba? Sa mga situations ko, do I trust Him anymore? Diba? Yun yung, yung, ano, yung point. Tapos, fourth point, Christ sets our faith to work. Diba? When Bartimaeus displayed his faith, may ginawa si God. Diba? He healed him. Sabi niya, go, your faith has healed you. Sabi niya doon. So, when, when you display your faith, when you ask Him, when you draw near to Him, He will set a work. Kung baga, may movement na yan. Di mo lang alam, minsan behind the scenes ikad eh. Kala mo, wala ang answer, but it's already on its way. Minsan naman, dahil mo talang sa mind ko, may sakot na, hindi mo lang in-acknowledge. Diba? Parang, alam mo, mali ko eh. Pero, baka naman, pwede ko dito. Nag-bargain. Ako may ilo ko yan. Pwede ko, buhay mo na. Try mo na to. Pero alam mo na in your heart, ano yung sinasabi ng God. Kasi hindi yung, alam mo, um, God gives us the wisdom. When you read this word, He gives us discernment. He gives us wisdom, understanding, like never before. So, alam mo yun, He, he gives, kumbaga, siya yung nagsispeak eh. And He allows you to hear Him. So, just search and really seek Him every single time, alam mo yun, every single step of the way. You need, you need to ask God. And, Ayun nga, He accomplishes for us according to His will and purpose. So sometimes you have questions, saan ang nangyari ito? Pero alam mo naman, God is not pleased when this happens. It means, kailangan ko i-determine ito, kung hindi ka lang ito. Kasi alam, alam ni God, ayaw niya, ayaw, ayaw niya lang ito eh, nasa Bible niya eh. Kung baga, we should always pray na sana yung heart natin will want what He wants. Kasi minsan, gusto natin tumal, tumaliwas. Kami yung huliwalay, yung turn of day. Pero yun nga, ang will ni God is for, him to come, for us to come to Him. Last point, it is not enough to come to Christ for healing. It may be spiritual, physical. Di ba natin yung mga sakit, may pinag-prepare tayo ng mga relatives, even tayo, isa din mga sakit tayo. Not only that, mas important yung spiritual healing. Minsan, we know na we always feel God. Tama ba? Ang wala din mga ako. Parang everyday, parang sa gosh, napayin na naman kayo na Lord. Nagkaroon na naman ako, um, pinagtakpa ko na naman yung sarili ko. Alam mo yun, little things, like so work. Ay, hindi na lang siya yun. Alam mo yun, yung parang, parating ang, ay, ay, hindi na re-realize ko. Gosh, oh Lord, na, 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 magkasara na naman ako. He always pain. Pero sabi dito, when we come to Him, at binigay niya yun sa'yo, it's not enough na 
Ang tupag yung gusto natin. What's, what's more important is, pag, kapag nakigad ka na, pinubuksan niya yung, di ba, si, si Pastor Marami, si Queen, na previous topic siya about spiritual blindness. When, when we receive God, He gives us spiritual eyesight. And kapag nag-open yun, and the Holy Spirit, hindi ko na sa puso mo, He enables you. Di ba? He makes me like a feet of the, di ba? May ganun mo He makes me stand on the heights. Like a feet of a deer. Di ba? Kapag ako, every step pinapasor ka niya when, when you are with him. So sabi dito, when God opens up your spiritual eyesight, you will see the beauty of Christ. Hindi magiging effort na mag-pray, hindi magiging effort na magbasa. Kasi sobrang makita ko yung beauty niya eh. Yung beauty ng buhay na kasama si Lord. Di ba? When you look back at your life, kung dahil kung gano'n ka tayo malos, ako gano'n ako. I always say that I was an alcoholic, I was a lahat, I was a party girl, I was everyday. So, when I look back to my life, yun talaga makikita ko, which Lord, tigang so mga lang yung eyes on ko. Now, I'm beginning to know what is wise to do. Hindi dapat ko utang, kung na hindi ko alam kung may akong bayaran, and yun. So, when God changes you, you will never be the same again. So, yun yung promise ni God. You will never be the same again, and you will be the same So, that ends my exhortation. So, can we all just pray? Hopefully, um, Nagrema sa mga puso ko yung discuss ko na eh. Um, Lord, um, thank you God for this time, Lord God. Thank you for using me, Lord God. Thank you for letting your people know, Lord God. I know, Lord God, that you are answering questions, that you are removing doubt, that you are increasing um, our faith, O oh God. Lord, forgive our unbelief. Father, if we are asking for healing, physical healing, spiritual healing, O oh God. Renew, well, Father, the minds namin, Lord God. We ask, Father, that you enable us, O oh God. You give us the wisdom to do every decision that we need to do. Lord, guide us and show us your path, O oh God. Help us to read your word every day. Lord, we thank you and uh, we give you the glory and we, we claim victory over the rest of the service. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Amen.
muli ay uh, ginabayan mo kami patungo dito sa iyong panagahan. Patuloy kami ang bibigay papuri at patuloy namin ang pinagdagan sa iyong Panginoon. Ano nga yan? Bigyan mo kami ng malinis at mga ayos ng puso ng Panginoon. Ito ay aming kaibigan sa iyo ng buko. Maraming maraming salamat po ito. Sa lahat ng mga biyaya.
kayo yung pour out His glory. Hanggang ngayon, kanina ang pinig siya ng magandang araw. Ngayon, hindi-less ka tayo ng ulan. Marapag tayo mainitan. Amen. Kaya ba, marami na tapay tayo pa rin sa inyo. Anyway, let's continue to praise our God. Marami marami sa marapag tayo ng salat ng mga pagkakataong pinigay mo sa amin. Sa mga pagkakataong nakapiling ka namin. Kagaya sa oras dito.
Galatians 2, verse 3 to 5. It says there, all of us also lived among them at one time, gratifying the cravings of our flesh and following its desires and thoughts. Like the rest, we were by nature deserving wrath. It says here in the Bible, before we were caught up with our sinful desires, all our cravings of the flesh. But it says here in verse 4, but because of His great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive in Christ, even when we were dead in our sins. It is by grace that we have been saved. Amen. We were once caught in living a life that we don't have to do with it. But God has given His Holy Son, Jesus, to die on the cross, mercy. We deserve to be punished, to receive His wrath. But God has chosen to love us. Amen. He has chosen to love us. Now we celebrate church. We encourage you to celebrate God's mercy. God's love. God's forgiveness. God's grace. His love.
Thank you.